Hey, it's been a little while since I've put some uh, recipes up. I saw a really good one. It was lasagna. It was, wait, shredded chicken Alfredo lasagna noodles stuffed. Or stuffed lasagna noodles. Anyway, it's really good. The title of this video will actually have whatever this is much better than I just said it. So the ingredients, I've already cooked up the mushrooms. I now have rotisserie chicken and some peppers and the lasagna noodles and I'm getting a little lazy. I'm not going to make my own Alfredo sauce. You can, but mine costs $2 so much faster. So I'm going to show you what we do after I get done. I have some finely diced, well not finely, but I have some diced orange, red, and yellow peppers. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to shred this rotisserie chicken and I've already got some cooked diced mushrooms. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like when I finish. Okay, so I have cooked the peppers. I have put them on top of the chicken and the mushrooms. I've taken the Alfredo sauce. I've added some garlic and some hot pepper. You know, pretty much just season it as you like. It's cooking on the pan right now. So now I'm gonna add my chicken and my vegetables. Just gonna kinda dump them in there. And by the way, the peppers, oof, the peppers, it's only half of each pepper. I put one and a half peppers total in here, just so you guys don't think that there's a lot of pepper. You use a little more than three quarters of the bottle of Alfredo sauce, or three quarters of the Alfredo sauce that you make, because you need the rest to lay on top of the noodles after they cook and after you stuff them. So, I just take, you know, Just mix it in, mix it in pretty well. Let it sit here on the heat. I have it go on a low heat for a little while. Good 15, 20 minutes just to let the garlic and the pepper and everything else soak in. There's plenty of Alfredo here. So everything I had mixes in very smoothly. And these lasagna noodles, these stuffed lasagna noodles are going to be huge. All right, so now I'm going to stuff these lasagna noodles taking what I have, and I'm not doing a big layer because you have to roll them on top of themselves. So I'm gonna do a nice thin layer for each noodle. I have them on my cutting boards because quite honestly, I didn't know what else to roll them on. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of things I could have rolled them on, but I chose these cutting boards. Um, and oh, with the chicken, forgot to mention, the chicken, I did not use breast meat. I only used the all the rest of the meat on the chicken, and I used the breast meat for dinner later. So let's see what happens. Well, that was interesting. Here they are. Now I didn't do the last one because, well, my cutting board that's, you know, from IKEA that's not supposed to bend or break or anything, it bent permanently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this up. And you want to make sure that when you stuff it, you put everything in the middle of the noodle. Whoops, there you go. Because if you don't put it in the middle of the noodle, it's all going to spread out relatively quickly. Right now, it's starting to mush out rather slowly. So I take it and I... I've already greased the pan that I'm putting it in, as you can tell. So I'm going to do this to all... What do I have here? Three, six, nine. See what it looks like when I finish. All right, I had a little bit left over, so I will probably just eat that with crackers or something while this stuff's cooking. Uh, what I did in the meantime while we were waiting, while everything was cooking, is I took that leftover Alfredo sauce that was in the jar, and I use Prego because it's cheap. Um, I added a little bit of water, and then I used my friend Leslie Hantos from Hungary gave me his family's own paprika, hot spicy paprika. So I added two tablespoons of spicy paprika. And now what I'm going to do is just pour this over and let there be a nice, good, spicy Alfredo cream on top of these noodles.
definitely could have made 10 noodles. So now I will cook these for 20 minutes at four, no, 350 degrees. Let's see what they look like. Just a quick little side note, the leftovers from that, uh, from the stuffed uh, lasagna noodles on crackers. Delightful. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out of the oven, see how it looks. Looks yummy. Mm. If only difficult to get out of the oven. <laughs> if I knew how to edit, I probably would. But, ah, come on now. There we go. Whoa. This is a lot heavier than it was when I put it in. Or at least it feels that way. Looks really good. So let's get ourselves a spatula. Turn off the oven. Let's dig into one of these. See how it goes. Let's take that really easy one on the corner. Maybe it's easy. Not so easy. Fork. Fork worked. Here we go. Yeah, that's yummy. Hope you enjoy it like